Hi and uh, welcome to my latest video, uh, this is an unboxing video as promised for my new lathe that arrived this morning, the CIP01936, it says on the box <coughs> mini lathe, but believe me it's far from mini, it is, it is classed in the UK as the MIDI. Um, it's a generic model, uh, two or three different firms have the same model, slight differences, um, but this was the cheapest I could find, um, from, and it's from uh, World of Power, uh, which I ordered online, ordered it just over Christmas, it arrived today, which is the, the 3rd of January, they only started back yesterday, so they've been shut over Christmas. So all in all, it was next day delivery. Very, very heavy. 38 kilos. Uh, so it came on a pallet on the back of a wagon. Unfortunately, no email to let me know it was on its way. Uh, luckily, I was, was in when it came. And it is a two-man lift. Although I'll be doing a one man lift to get it into the uh, into the workshop shed <coughs> um i also ordered a two inch chuck uh which is a separate package which i will do a separate unboxing for um i'll say this one uh will now attempt to uh do an unboxing Hopefully takes a little bit of stuff off, so there'll be a bit, be a bit lighter for me taking out to the to the shed to the workshop. So here we go. Move the pallet out of the way first. Well, let's see what's in the box. Declaration of conformity. Well, for advice, please contact your distributor. It's the 12 by 18 variable speed lathe, SRP number 01936. 12 inches is the maximum diameter of anything you can turn, and 18 inches is the distance between the headstock and the tailstock. Okay, hopefully yeah, this comes up here. Right, we've got those out of the way. Let's see what's that clear in the box. I think it's more like all in one. Which will make a little bit uh, difficult to carry them. But uh, we'll give that here. I've got the, although it says it doesn't cover one of these. Notice there is one. This is a push pin uh, for removing the 
Sorted. We'll speak to you soon. Well, we made it into the uh, into the shed, into the workshop, and here it is, up on the bench. A little bit of a struggle. Um, it's solid as a rock, although it does have adjustable feet if you bench it and quite level. Uh, and there we have it. We. What came in the box? Well, two rest, and that's a bit awkward. They go against each other, but we have the two rest, short one, and we also have a long two rest, which is good. We're going to cross things. And what we've got to do? Tighten that up first, and then that. But we'll get to that shortly. I think we'll put the short one back in. <coughs> Take up as much room. Well, these are solid cast iron. This moves about in every direction. Right, we have the tail stock. Similar thing. Slide up and down very easily. Locks with this here at the side. And this actually locks the headstock in position. This turns out now hopefully um, we will have a handle for that in this package somewhere. But let's have a look what's in here. Okay we've got the head the that's for the headstock and this is the live centre for the tail stock. That should line out. I'm keen to be doing it for some reason. Don't know why. Of Alan Keys here, let's see if that's tight. Is that the one for it? Yes, that's tight. So that's uh, another Alan Key. Uh, this fits these, and they have a lot tightening, but it also fits this, which is the adjuster for the belts. Uh, and 
another large one still. No idea what that one's for. But we will find out eventually, I would imagine. Now we've got... I'm not sure whether that's something... I think that might be something to do with it. Oh, that is the handle. Right. And we need a flat screwdriver. Here's a spanner. Yeah, that fits. Should fit. There, yeah. Right, a flat spanner, a flat screwdriver required. Screwdriver. And we use an electric screwdriver. Let's see. Okay, now why on earth is that not turning out? Perhaps something else goes in there, that's all. I should finish opening this bag. I believe this is just the control. So we can do a quick plug in. To make sure the thing actually works. Yes, it works. Instruction manual before we operating this machine here. Yeah. As the was when we was. Now then. I'm just going to switch off for a while and try and sort this out. Why on earth it's not uh, uh, moving out, I don't know. We'll get back to you. 
okay didn't need a lot of working out first you've got to lock it right lock it with that handle once you've locked it then it does have to turn out the micro adjustment there we go to lock that to to get it to uh, to engage for some reason but everything's all working fine now we uh, there is a groove there that that locks into get it to that side and that is locked now Move up and down. Yeah, very nice. If that goes up and down to make your uh, your piece. Changing the spindle speed. There is a plate at the uh, the belt rather. Yeah, it's uh, actually set behind my head. It is on the middle one, so we'll leave it there. It should be fine for what we do, I think. So that's it. Everything working. No spanners needed for this, which which is good because you do have to. Move that to one side to get to the bottom pulley. Well, I thought that would be awkward, but it's no problem. No problem at all. I think that actually goes like that. There we are. So. Very quiet, very nice. So this hasn't taken too long really, so instead of having a separate video for the uh, for the chuck etc, I might as well do it now. I said that's the push left to get those out, because naturally when you have something in between and the floors together, that will tighten up in there. So they both are MT1 by the way, there are various reviews that say one is MT1 and one is MT2 but they are definitely both MT1, uh, I think that's a 2 in face blade, I'm trying to find the tape now or something Three inch, three inch, three inch uh, uh, What I have here is uh, something I uh, purchased yesterday. Right. For making pens. What happens? You can just find the <coughs> pen mandrel. Okay, MT1 pen mandrel goes in this end. Okay, you don't need these nuts. This uh, this nut at all now. The tail stop slides up. Okay. That was you want it to go. Okay, and that is. Tightens up, of course. Tighten this down. Put your rest in place. Okay, lock it. And away you go.
the plus that. There's no pressure, that actually should move right up to, uh, to the bushes, which it will do. Turn your piece of, your turn and is in between the, well worth getting, it's about 20, 25 quid for that, but well worth it. Do you need the, the rod to pass it out? There we go. Okay, well, I'll just uh, nip inside for the for the chocolate that I got. 